Martha Bradley, Channel 5's chief correspondent, prepared for a live report about President Reagan's speech at City Hall last week. She gave it 100%. When Martha Bradley was back in the newsroom later that day to write and edit her Reagan story for the 6 o'clock news, she gave it 100%. What makes Martha Bradley an exceptional reporter? What has won her two individual Emmy Awards is that she covers every story with that same energy, dedication, and drive. But what makes Martha Bradley such an exceptional woman is that she applies those same qualities to all aspects of her life. Part of that commitment, she told me, is due to the values her mother taught her growing up in Salt Lake City, Utah. And I think the one thing that she gave me was that I could do anything I wanted to do. I mean, I always remember that from from being a child that she always said I could do anything and she always told me that I was good at whatever I did. She gave me a sense of confidence and and I, I also think in, in those women of our generation a lot of us work and, and thought oh I want to have a career. I couldn't imagine not having a career. Doing anything and everything to the best of her ability is what comes naturally to Martha. There's no place where this is more apparent than in the newsroom, where she is seemingly at ease with the pressures of daily deadlines. It suits me because I'm, you're always running around and you get to think and you get to, it challenges you in sort of every way. Martha directs that energy into the area she likes best, politics. This summer she covered both the Democratic and Republican conventions. I, I was proud of what we did. I, I felt that we were keeping up. We had enough reporters there. Kirby Perkins was there. Mary was there. Um, that we actually gave more time than the networks. That, that we devoted a good deal of our, of our broadcast to the presidential conventions the Democrat and the Republican, and that we've kept up with the race. But Martha covers more than politics, and it's that late-breaking news story that creates pressure. The hardest part is if something very important happens very late in the day. And, and for instance, at 5 o'clock, if, if there's some story that I've never covered, for instance, that is, that is very complex, that uh, something from years ago or something that breaks in a courtroom or whatever and that in one hour you're expected to digest that information as much as you can know as much about it and explain it to whoever's watching I, I, certainly you're nervous I mean it's a big responsibility that kind of pressure requires some kind of relief and for Martha it's maintaining a sense of humor especially with close colleague Channel 5 reporter Susan Warnick we realize that we both take our jobs very seriously, but sometimes we don't take ourselves very seriously. That we can, that we need to, to giggle and, and uh, be silly and laugh and sit around and, you know, Susan and I are close. And when it comes to meeting the demands of both work and her family, husband Ben Bradley, reporter for the Boston Globe, and their three-year-old daughter Greta, there is a lot of support from colleagues Natalie Jacobson and Mary Richardson. Believe me, when Natalie and I get together, the word um, news is never mentioned. I mean, it's all kids and all, and you need that. You need people who understand and know what you're going through and know what's important. What comes first in your life? Oh, you always have to say your children come first. You always have to say your, your, your family, your, your, my daughter comes first. But I always, I always try... And, and people talk about a balance. You give 50% here, you give 50% here. I try to give everything that I've got whenever I'm with the various people in my life. So I don't, I, I don't think of it in order. I, I'll give you an example. A couple of weeks ago, I was at work, and Greta's very used to me being at work. I've always been at work since she was born. It doesn't bother her. I leave in the morning, and she's fine. Um, but I happened to call home about 4 in the afternoon, and I was at work. And Greta was having a terrible day and said, I want you to come home right now. And I sat at the desk and I thought, hmm, <laughs> what am I going to do here? I thought, she never does this. She's not a demanding child. So I looked around and I knew I had to be on the air at 6. And I took off and I went home and <laughs> I said, I'll be right back. And uh, spent 10 minutes with her. That's all she needed. And I said, you know, I can't always do this. And she said, I know. I said, but you really seemed like you needed me today. So I went home and we spent some time and I roared back and, and did the story. What do you want for Greta? The one thing that I credit my mother with giving me is sense that she can do anything she wants to do. First, I want to work at a grocery store. Then I want to work at Channel 5. A sense of confidence and independence, which right now, when she's three and a half, she has too much of. But um, 
I want her to feel good about herself. I want her to do the best she can. Giving 100% all of the time is worth it to Martha because she told me that's what she gets back. You get back more than 100%. You can say you get back, you know, you get back 100% from your, from your daughter. You get back 100% from your job. I like my job. Um, I can't imagine not doing it. Reporting live from City Hall, I'm Martha Bradley.